And NBA 2K20 positions are some of the most least understood things in the game. What's the difference between a point guard and a shooting guard? What's the difference between a power forward and a center? In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how positions change everything. How you can make the same player with the same height, weight, wingspan, and just change the position and it'll affect everything about your player and badges. Let's get right into it. Uh, I'm feeling your energy and shorty man, she really into me. I got lots of enemies and they wanna act like they friends with me. Yo guys, before the video starts, please drop a like on this video because I went all out breaking down the positions and I also put timestamps below. So if you guys look in the description or the comment section, I put timestamps if you're looking for a specific position. So if you're looking like for about point guards, shooting guards, power forward, centers, whatever position you're looking for, I broke down them all, but I put the timestamp so you can go to the exact portion that kind of um, applies to you. So let's get right into the Yo, what's up guys? It is Power D. Yeah back for another video now i have been searching for days trying to figure out the info in this video what i did guys is i compared and i figured out something big i made a big discovery that a lot of people because this game just released don't understand that positions affect your player you can make the player the same archetype choose the same pie chart make it the same height make it the same weight make it the same wingspan and if you just change if all you do is just change the position then you have completely different badges than you had before. You have a completely different number of attribute points than you had before. So I found a couple of discoveries, guys. And if you haven't, guys, can you guys please drop a like on Because I usually don't ask for likes. You guys know me. I just usually just make the video. But I spent so much time trying to find this out. If you guys could just drop a like to show you appreciate it, that would mean a lot. So basically, I found a couple of things. I found that if you made a center of the same height, so I'm just talking about like, if you, the only reason to make some of these positions is because of the height, if you can't make it on another position. But if you make a center that's seven feet, you get power forward at seven feet, they're both 250, they both have the same exact wingspan, then the center will get more defensive and rebounding badges, they will get more attribute points, and the power forward will usually get more shooting badges, finishing, and um what was the other badge the other badges um playmaking badges yes so it depends on what your position is what badges you get and i also made a big discovery for guards too because i went in the guards i didn't just stop here point guards and shooting guards if you make a point guard see point guards can go up to six six shooting guards can go up to six seven if you make a point guard and shooting guard that's both six six point guards will always get better badges always point guards either get like an extra finishing badge extra defensive badge or to get like an extra um like playmaking badge but they will always and then you would think okay so maybe shooting guards get better shooting badges no point guards will always get the same shooting badges as shooting guards now it's not going to make sense with me just talking so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna explain it i'm gonna show you guys on the screen i'm gonna show you guys exactly what the difference is so i'm gonna start so i'm gonna make a center i want you to, um guys so i'm gonna make a center and i'm gonna choose what's a popular a popular center archetype is the stretch the stretch five so I'm gonna put the shooting um, pie chart right here. And I'm just gonna choose, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna choose the first physical profile, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade. We'll watch this out to upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade my shooting all the way, um, right quick. And we're gonna do shooting all the way. We're gonna do rebounding all the way. Yep, rebounding. Ooh, <laughs> I'm doing that a little bit too fast, but rebounding all the way. Um, lateral quickness, let's go. Block, offensive rebound, defensive rebound. And we're going to put the leftover stats that we're going to put it on like close shot, driving layup, driving dunk. And we got eight attributes remaining after that. So I'll put it on standing dunk. So look at that. Just look at this. Um, you'll see we'll get um, one finishing badge, 30 shooting badges, one playmaking badge, and nine defensive and rebounding badges. And this is for the center, right? So what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go out right quick. I'm going to make the same exact build. Hold up, let me go back and let me make it and let me just change it. Let me just let me not do anything. Let's just change it to a power four. Let's just change it to a power four. So shooting, um, we'll do the first physical profile. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just upgrade the shooting like I did before. And I'm gonna upgrade I'm upgrade three point. I'm upgrade a free throw. I'm upgrade a post fade. I'm upgrade everything in defense. Watch this. Watch this. This, this is the best part. I upgrade still, upgrade block, upgrade offensive rebound, upgrade defensive rebound, seven defensive badges. I upgraded the same exact things out seven and i'll show you guys you guys are wondering about this even though it's not going to affect the badges i'll upgrade up here i'll upgrade for power four upgrade here and look guys you see i got extra attributes here because i have 18 attributes remaining but the center they didn't have this many attributes remaining remember i only had eight if you go look back 
So there's a different number of attributes. Depending on what position you make, you'll have a different number of attributes. And I'll compare it in a second. But look, the badges are different. I got more defensive and rebounding badges doing the same thing. Because I was a center instead of a power forward. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to be making uh, a player that's... You care about your defense and rebounding, a center is probably better than a power forward. If you're going to be making a player that's... Um, you are focusing on playmaking, shooting, and finishing, then a power forward is better than center. So I'm going to show you guys an example of also how where the power forward gets better stats. So... First of all, I want to go back and you guys you guys can probably see, but in case you missed it, I'm going to do a quick comparison of like the attribute points so you guys see. So you do that, um, shoot in, um, I choose the first physical profile. Look at the top. Before I do anything, 421 attributes for maiden. Now I go back to the power four and we're going we're gonna to change it and we're going to do shoot in and we're going to go to the first one. And the same build gets 440 attributes upgrades. So this is what I'm talking about. Position actually matters. You can get the extra badge. And you might think these things don't matter. But when other people are better than you because they got this gold diamond or stuff or bronze diamond or something like that. Then it's going to make a huge difference. Now you guys may be wondering about stats. I actually, if you check the stats in here, I can do it. Um, I can do a breakdown, but if you check the stats and you make the height exactly the same, all the stats will be exactly the same except for the extra attributes upgrades. But other than that, all the stats are going to be the same. So it's not like, oh, I see a lot of people saying, oh, you're faster as a point guard instead of a shooting guard. No, it's not like that. All Every attribute in here will be exactly the same. Y'all can check it, but every attribute would be the same. I checked it so many times. So what I'm going to do is one thing. I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to go through the attributes right quick just to prove to you guys that they're the same. But um, then I want to move on to the point guards and shooting guards all right guys so to prove the difference in rating does not change depending on your build what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in right quick i'm gonna make a, a center i'm gonna make the exact same things um you guys can also look at a full breakdown but i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make a shooting stretch as a center um the first physical profile and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna upgrade my three-point shot i'm gonna upgrade my free throw i'm gonna upgrade all my shooting i'm gonna upgrade all my defense and last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rest pretty much in finishing. Now we can look at all the attributes because they they actually do change the same, but only slight difference is you have a you get a few extra attributes with the different um builds. So like one is might get like 10 extra or five or ten in the area, but it's really not a huge difference. So but all the main things should be the same. So look at shooting right quick. So this is 87, 84, 84, 95. And I'm I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So I'm gonna do body shape solid, I'm gonna do seven for and I'm gonna do the 250 and we're gonna do 89.1. Now look, 58, 58, 52, 43, and just look at uh, some of these, 87, 84, 84, 95. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Remember that, oh yeah, we just look at takeover just so you guys can see it against the same takeovers. Sharpshooter and rim protector. Now I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do the same thing for, a, I'm gonna do the same thing for a power forward right quick. Just so you guys can see that I'm not lying. I'll, it gets literally the exact same archetypes. Like I'm not joking about this. So shooting, um, we're gonna do the first physical profile and we're gonna do the same thing I did before. So we're gonna upgrade the shooting. We're gonna, now it sees, people sometimes look at the screen. This screen is before the height. So yeah, it's gonna be different. But once you change the height, the weight and the wingspan, it all goes back to normal. Like it all changes back to like it was before. So don't look at these stats because these aren't your actual stats. This is the stats. And let's say if I made a six nine stretch, but I'm not making a six nine stretch. So I'm talking about if you make it the same exact height, weight wingspan you did before so obviously we know the badge difference we already talked about that but let's go to solid let's go to seven feet and let's change it to 250 yeah change the weight to 250 exactly the same 89.1 all these stats y'all can go back to the other screen if you want all these stats are the same the 58 58 52 43 those are exactly the same everything is the same even the takeovers are the same these are the exact same stats no matter what position you make if it's going to be you might see a little extra in like standing dunk because if because of the attribute difference if i have the center might have a little bit more attributes to put down there but it's like it's like four or five points pretty much every stat down the board is the same max so no matter what position you make don't worry about the attributes what you gotta worry about is the badge changes because those are huge all right guys so i'm also going to break down the difference between shooting and finishing in other areas for centers and power forwards so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a center and i'm gonna do another popular build i know a lot of people like to do the shooting rebound and split and it works out well because if you do an all shooting split, you're always going to get the match shooting badges just because you put so much in shooting. But if you, when you put less in shooting, like you do a half or something like that, that's when it really shows the differences between like the different um, builds. So I'm going to do a shooting rebound and split. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the first physical profile and we're just going to quickly upgrade our shooting. 
uh, mid range. Here we go. All shooting all the way. We're gonna upgrade our defense all the way. Interior defense, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, still block, offensive rebound, defensive rebound, and then I'm just gonna put the rest in finishing. I'm just gonna put close shot, drive and layup, drive and dunk, and the rest in standing dunk. So I see 117, 123. If you guys pay attention to that, and obviously the attribute upgrades are a little bit different. But it's, it's like that for everyone. And I'm also going to I'm gonna put like a, a link in the description to the 2K lab stuff where they broke down like how are the attribute upgrades for each different position, each pie chart. So if you're really interested in the attribute upgrades, then you can just pay attention to it or you can go look at that graph in the description. So I'm going to go back out and we're going to do the same thing. And we're just going to all the we're going to change is we're going to change it to a power forward. And we go in and same same skill breakdown, same physical profile. And we're gonna just upgrade the shooting again. The same shooting <laughs> attributes. We're gonna put it up all the way. We're gonna put up the interior defense, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, still block, offensive rebound, defensive rebound. And look, if you guys see, if you guys notice this right quick, look at this. The shooting, notice by the way, the shooting is at 18 instead of 17. That's a plus one in shooting. That's at 20 instead of 23 for the defensive rebound. So you lost three defensive rebound badges, but you gained one shooting. But here's the big thing. I just upgraded the same finishing stuff, right guys? And now I have three finishing badges. So what it basically did here is it redistributed the badges. It took away three from defensive and rebounding. It put one in shooting and it put it two in finishing. And this is what it does with all, this is what I'm trying to explain. If it always, if you're a center, it puts, it redistributes the shooting, playmaking, and finishing badges to usually like defense. If you're a power forward, it's going to redistribute some of the defensive or rebounding badges to playmaking, shooting, or finishing. So always check. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different for every single um, archetype or a pie chart, whatever you want to call it. But always check. Check your position. Check the same as that thing. Because these attributes, they will always stay the same. Don't worry about that. It doesn't matter what position you are. If you choose the same height, weight, and wingspan, then these will always have the same attributes. But check the badge upgrades. Try to make your position with the same, <laughs> same stats. But just check how the upgrades affect them because it can depend on your play style and what you actually want. But now I'm gonna go straight to the guards, man. Okay, so obviously the attribute upgrade is gonna be the same, but I want to break down the guards because this is big for guards. So if I make a shooting guard, and I'm a, a popular thing is the playmaking shooting split. So I'm gonna do the orange and I'm gonna do the green right here play making shooting split and what we're gonna see we're gonna do the first physical profile again so everything's exactly the same and we're gonna upgrade for guards we're gonna do different stuff we're gonna upgrade all the shooting we're gonna um, upgrade all the playmaking and we're gonna upgrade we're gonna put the rest in like finishing right quick so we're gonna upgrade finishing we're gonna put the rest in here and we're gonna put the because guards want to upgrade standing dunker post hook so I'm just gonna try to I'm gonna put the rest in perimeter, lateral, still, and we're gonna put the rest in, we can put it in block, sure. <laughs> so if you do this, you're gonna see, um, this is the shooting guard, you're gonna have three, 22, 21, and two. That's just for a shooting guard, right? So we're gonna go out and we're gonna do the same thing to see what happens if, um, if we were gonna do it with a point guard. Three, 22, 21, and two, remember that. And you're gonna see how drastically it changes. We just changed the point guard. Um, we do the same pie chart, play making, shooting. Um, we do the same thing right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upgrade it again. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy how much positions can just change your badges. <laughs> so the 22 is the same. Like the shooting badges will always be the same. I tested every point guard and shooting guard thing. The point guards and shooting guards always get the same shooting badges. But if you look at this, then it gets more play making badges. <laughs> It had 21 playmaking badges before, now it has 23. It has way, gets way more playmaking badges. And if I upgrade over here, then it's going to get more finishing badges. It added a finishing badge for no reason. I don't know why. I played the same things. And now I'm going to go down to defense. And I think the defense is the same. Um, it might be the same um, for this one. But you see the playmaker, the shooting badges are exactly the same. The point guard and shooting guard is completely different because I talked about power forward, like it just redistributed the badges. Here it just seems like it just added badges just for being a point guard. That's why I say always make a point guard if you can because it just adds badges anywhere. Sometimes it's defense, sometimes it's playmaking, sometimes it's finishing. Just by being a point guard instead of a shooting guard, it will just add badges to your build. Like it's literally like that <laughs> out of nowhere. So that's a big advantage a point guard can go up to six six there's really no reason to make a shooting guard unless you could we want to be six seven 
So, or is or higher, like, so the point guard is a he, at a huge advantage this year, and a lot of people just don't know about that. So that's something I really wanted to demonstrate right there. Um, the last thing I do want to um, break down is the differences between the shooting guard and a small forward. So I'm about to do that. All right, guys, so now we're going to be doing comparison between shooting guards and small forwards and their badges. So I'm going to go in. Obviously, the attributes are different. Like where every um, build and archetype, the attributes are different. So I'm going to do the pure sharp. That's a really popular build that people try to decide. Should I make a shooting guard or a small forward? So mostly shooting right here. I'm going to do the first. We're going to do the first pie chart. We're just going to pick that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to match out with like a like a pure sharp mic. So we're going to do shooting up all the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade um, lateral quickness, perimeter defense, still block and offensive rebound. Um, but actually you just go down a little bit and just put up the pass accuracy, ball handling, and just put up those two right quick. And then just put the rest that we have left over and we're going to put a close shot, driving layup, um, driving dunk. And once we have driving dunk, we'll put the rest we have left over in block. And we still have four extra points. So I'm trying to figure out where I should put those four extra points. Um, let's just put it in low key. Let's put it in standing dunk. Sure. So. What you're going to see here is when you upgrade the perimeter defense lateral quickness still, you're going to see notice 30, 10, and 5. 1, 30, 10, and 5. Notice what I did. So I matched out the close shot, the driving layup, the driving dunk. Um, a little bit in the standard dunk. Mid-range, three-point, free throw, pass accuracy, everything. And we're going we're gonna to do the same thing with the small four. So 30, 10, and 5. Remember those numbers right quick. And we're going to go to small four. And if we, we do the exact same thing. So pure sharp again, obviously. Physical profile. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna upgrade the three point because the pure sharp would always have it. I'm trying to I when I make these builds, I try to make it so like it would be it'd be like what would you actually do with like a, a pure sharp? So um okay, I need to upgrade interior defense, upgrade perimeter defense, lateral quickness, still offensive rebound, block, and then we put the rest in close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, and standing dunk left over. So look at this, the same exact, <laughs> the same exact breakdown is 37 and three. This is why shooting guards always get more badges. I actually did this test with a ton of archetypes. Shooting guards will always get more badges out of nowhere. And I don't know, there's no explanation I have for it. That's why if you're gonna make a, a player that's not gonna be as tall for a small forward, then they might as well make a shooting guard because look at this, look how it is. You get pretty much, <laughs> what? five at your badges just for changing your position like it's actually ridiculous well, how the advantages you can get just by changing one small part of your build that really affects nothing except the badges so that's huge that's the that's going to end the breakdown against the shooting guard and small four all right guys so that's going to conclude the video i appreciate everyone who watched it and made this far i hope i gave you guys a better understanding of how positions work in nba 2k20 and you should always check your position so if you're making a player that's, for example, sit, sit, check it out, point guard and shooting guard. See how the badges affect you. See how the attribute upgrades affect you. Same thing if you're making a seven foot player or a six, 11 player for point, power forward and shooting or a center. Depending on what type of player you're trying to make, a different position may benefit you or hurt you. So it's important for people to look at those type of things. And if you guys made it this far, don't forget to drop a like on the video, comment what you guys thought of the video or what were the good parts, bad parts, let me know. Subscribe if you guys are new and I am... Out. Back. I can't be trusting cause people be switching and starting. I had to go get me some money, they always was fronting. I had to stay up to sign. I never trust up at night. Seeing them drip on the bone, make sure she won't call.